Hello everyone, welcome back to Sugihime. So, last time we beat CL's route for her true ending, which I really enjoyed, and actually, um, this morning the part went up, and no, everyone was saying that they actually do like this ending, which is pretty good, because I, I really liked it. It touched me. It touched me right here. I have also been informed that her good end is not as good. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna, we're gonna check it out. Um, I have been told also that Arcuid's manga ending is seen by some as another, like, really, really good one. Um, I'm gonna be checking out the manga afterwards. Um, I'll probably just do it on my own and then, uh, come back with my thoughts later on. Kind of like what I just did for, um, uh, Fate Prisma Ilia to Zvai, which I just finished reading, and boy geez, people weren't wrong about that ending being very different in the manga than it is in the actual anime. So, let's hop on in. I did check where the new option is, and in fact, I, it's not even a new option. It was there, um, which is interesting. I didn't need to actually beat her route to get the alternate one. It was a choice at the end there of this route, so I think it's this choice here. So, we didn't obey her, and that got us the true ending. But I guess if we do obey her, that gives us the good ending? So we'll have to see what this is. Let's try that. Let's obey her. I remember the times I spent with Arcuid. The first time I saw Arcuid, well, I was certainly insane. You could say that. Also, pee pee filter. What is this? Uh, de de Deus Ex? Mankind? I forget. I forget the subtitle. But that game had a pee pee filter. I don't know what caused that impulse. You don't? I think it's pretty obvious, my man. But still, there is something I can be sure of. I, Tono Shiki. The instant I saw that Caucasian vampire, had my heart stolen. Oh my god. Are you telling me this is the dump CL ending? Because I, I, I can't handle that if that's the case. I'm going to feel bad. NTR is a no-no. Even though she's a vampire, a true ancestor, she's innocent. She lacks common sense and was the one who got me involved in this mess. Even though I killed her, she forgave me with a smile. An unknown image of the past. The parasitic ghost of Roa's attachment to Arquid Brunstad. Even if it influenced me, I... This is your last chance, Shiki. Do as I say. Arquid's voice is shaking. Her voice, filled with fear of rejection, tells me. The most important person to me is CL. But that doesn't mean I can hate this person. Holding CL dear to me is true, but my fondness of Arquid is also true. Oh god. Is this the harem ending? Those... Those never go well. Those are always a bit iffy. I don't think polygamy is legal in Japan. Or, you know, under Christian rules. Vampires might be okay with it. It has nothing to do with Roa's influence. As Tonoshiki, I am attracted to her. Okay, so there is a little bit of this on the actual CL route. And I didn't comment on it, but I thought it. Which is dumb, because, of course... I need to let my thoughts out when I'm doing these videos. Um, I do like the idea that, well, Shiki likes CL. Ark is literally his tastes. I, I kind of like that idea because that idea of like, well, I, you know, even if I have a girlfriend, I have a type that I really like and I cannot deny I'm attracted to her. Um, that's kind of what I got from it, right? Where it's like, no, no, like, I like CL for her personality, 
but Arquid is literally tailored to who, what I like. That's kind of what I got from it. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of that is the influence of Roa, but we'll see. We'll see. Shiki, or do you really hate me that much? Well, don't be ridiculous. If I could hate you so simply, things wouldn't have turned out this way. I apologize to Seal in my head as I say that. Uh, Arquid tilts her head. Wait, Shiki, what What does that mean? Oh, this idiot, damn it. She just won't understand unless you say it directly. Arquid, I... Sorry, Seal. I'm about to say something I shouldn't. Well, I can't hate you. I'm probably attracted to you. Yeah, yeah, eyes narrow. You don't use the word probably for that. After Ted's pause, really? She asks in a drained voice. Hey now, it's useless to lie in this kind of situation. I don't want to admit it, but damn, I'm attracted to you. Ever since I met you, I've always been attracted to you. Arkwood's face brightens. Her hands which were pinning me down let go as she happily tries to get up. But still, I can't do as you say. She freezes instantly, and then goes back down and puts her hands back on my neck. She takes her hands which- Oh, I was joking. She takes her hands which were letting go and puts them on my arms again. Shiki, what do you mean? If you like me, why can't you listen to what I say? Or are you saying you can't trust what I say? I believe you. You have a lot of secrets, but you never lied to me. And if you say it's possible to do something about Roa, then it's probably true. You understand, or you understand, then what's wrong? Don't tell me, you don't want to get rid of Roa's power? She stares at me, dissatisfied. Ah, oh, jeez, no matter what situation we're in, I guess I'll, she'll always be a bit off. Hey, I, I'm just an average guy. I wouldn't want this power even if you asked me to take it. If I could, I want to throw it in a trash can right now. Then why don't you want this? If you become my servant... You can bring down Roa right away. Shiki, you're being weird. You're the weird one. Look, Arkwood, I'm attracted to you, but the one I like the most is someone else. That's why I'll never become yours. Oh, thank God we're not actually doing that. Ooh. Oh, oh. I see. Shiki, you're still saying that that woman is better. Arkwood's voice turns cold. This is bad. I think I really got her pissed. That's fine. I don't mind if you like someone else. Shiki, you're the first person I've ever liked. So if you like me even just a little bit, then nothing else matters. So even if you don't think about me the most, I don't mind. Because if you're my number one, isn't that enough? Cold eyes shine over her smile. A mixture of chilling coldness and innocence. But that woman is different. If she's the one to take you from me, it's better if you hate me. Ah, oh, man, in the end, I guess I do have to use force. You may hate me for this, but if I do this, you'll never be able to leave me. Arquid bites her lip after saying that. Uh-oh. Drip. A bead of red blood forms on her lip. Hey, Ar Arquid! I yell out, sensing some kind of danger. But Arquid looks down and pretends to not hear me. I try to free myself, but not in time. Like that? Arkwood's lips press onto my mouth. Oh no! We got done cheated on! Blah. This isn't a kiss. Arkwood is just trying to get me to drink her blood. Something tells me this is really bad and I resist frantically. But her arms grabbing mine are strong and up. Uh, 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 the sensation of the lips feels good too and my struggles are growing weaker and weaker. You filthy thing! And then my whole world suddenly jolts. It, what, when I open my eyes, I see Arkwood's body flying through the air. Ark, what is this happy music? Arkwood was hit directly by countless swords that came flying through the air, and she flew right along the brick pathway and disappeared into the trees. It, I looked down in the opposite direction from what Arkwood disappeared to. Crap. Uh, I see Seal Senpai's there, her shoulders shaking. I can feel the heat of her glare. 
Staring at me like I was her enemy, CL walks over with sharp footsteps. She smiles and stretches out her hand to me. I grab her hand and manage to stand back up. Uh... CL... Senpai? You're... Back already. Yes, I was worried about you, Tonokun, so I hurried back. When I came to my room, I was surprised. I told you not to leave the room, but you weren't there. Uh, there's a big reason for that. And it's a long story. Then please go ahead. I don't know what you're doing with Arquid, but at least listen to your excuse. Senpai, I'll say this now, but it isn't what you think. I didn't do anything with Arquid. What you're thinking is just a false accusation. I see. So you're saying there's nothing going on, and it's all a misunderstanding on my part. Yeah! Alright, way to go, CL Senpai! I knew you'd understand right away. I raised my hands in the air and cheer. Woohoo! We did it! Yay! Oh boy. Being glared at, I lower my hands. Oh well. Unfortunately, taking care of her takes priority right now. But Tonokun, I'll definitely ask you about this later on. She looks away from me and towards the thick trees. Even I can feel something straining forth from that direction. Chill, an uneasiness like an unseen poison starting to fill the air. Please get away, Tonokun. CL walks towards the bushes where Arkwood disappeared into. Get away. C CL, I can't listen. Before, CL and Arkwood fought in this park. Even at that time, CL didn't stand a chance against her. So I can't let her fight with Arquid alone. But I don't want to even think about me and Seal both attacking Arquid. Wait, Senpai. Arquid didn't do anything. She's not a bad vampire, so... Tonokun. When it comes to vampires, good and evil don't matter. They are an existence that must be eliminated once they mix into human society. And it's already too late. She intends to kill us already. Before I can say that's not true... Arquid's figure appears, swaying like she's sowing the seeds of death. Another surprise attack? Not so much you being unoriginal, but just having a sick personality instead. You talk too much. Against an opponent who emerges unscratched where normal vampires would have been killed six times over by these black keys, any method should be fair. It's sickening to have a monster like you comment on my personality. Cat, fight! Cat, fight! Cat, fight! Cat, fight! Sorry. Sparks are flying between the two of them. Th this isn't a metaphor, but the air really is charged. Arkwood's hostility invades the air so much that the simple act of breathing burns my lungs. Seal Senpai is similar. It seems her robes is more bulky than usual. It seems she's prepared for total war this time. It looks like she's hiding all sorts of freaky weapons under there. Oh. I wondered when you'd get back to the... Uh, when I wondered... What you did going back to the church, but bringing out the black barrel? I guess the rumor of you giving boring knowledge to enhance is true. There's a couple things there. One black barrel sounds familiar. That was brought up at some point. In Grand Order. And I remember googling it, saying, That's a Tsukihime thing, and closing away. Um... I guess the rumor of you giving boring knowledge to enhance was true. What the frick does that mean? I don't know what that means. It doesn't concern you. Well, since you'll be sealed here, there won't be anything that will concern you ever again. Arkwood's arm lowers. She's serious. The next instant, she'll probably attack CL. CL would fight back. No matter who wins, I already know someone is going to get hurt. I can't let this happen. I couldn't stop it before. But now this time, I have to stop it. I'm the one who brought the situation on. My chocolate-coated dick is too powerful. See, uh, CL Senpai and Arquid. If I think they are both very important to me, then... You stupid idiots! I have to stop them, even if it costs me my life. The air vibrates. Arquid is looking directly at CL's neck. Before then... Chotomate, could you stop? Please. There's enough of Tonoshiki to go around. I throw myself between the two of them. You're in the way. Be quiet, Shiki. You're in the way. Please get back, Tonokun. I'm pierced by both their gazes. 
a headache and chills. They're both really thinking that I'm in the way. My spine screams as I bear the full brunt of their enmity. What's more, my headache worsens. It's in reaction to seriously gazing at the lines of death. And Roa's reaction to me trying to kill Arquid, perhaps. Stop it, you two. There's no need for you to fight. Don't be ridiculous. There never was a reason in the first place. Just get back, Shiki. Even if it is you, I won't let you go if you get in my way. Just like she says, this does not concern you, Tonokun. Even if you stay there, we're going to fight anyway. They're not listening to a word I say. Well, I was prepared for that anyway. I see. Then it can't be helped. If you're gonna fight no matter what, then I'll have to do it myself. But if it can't be it can't be helped if you don't listen to what I say. If you two intend to kill each other, I'll have to stop you, even if I have to kill. Gripping my knife strongly, I stare at the world almost hard enough to fry my brain. This is this is stupid. This is the your what are you doing? My brain throbs as if it turned into another heart. Bathed in agony, where sucking in breath seems to break every bone in my body, I stare at the death all around me. D tono kun you shouldn't. If you use your eyes like that, the blood vessels in your brain will explode. I can't help it. If I don't do this, I can't stop Arkuid. In contrast to the panicking seal, Arkuid just stares at me with cold eyes. Damn it. Arkuid standing there like that, it seems like she knows I can't see any of her lines. Of course. You just risking your life won't let you see any points of death on me. Well, you may be able to find some lines, but that's meaningless as well. Why, you... You're not cute at all. Crap. I'm going to pass out. If you understand, then stop. If your consciousness dies, then Roa will take over. If that happens, then not even I can help you, Shiki. I can hear Arkwood's voice. All the same, I've decided to stop them. Such a thing can't... Stop me. Tonokun, you can see lines in Arquid? Suddenly, Seal Senpai's voice calls out. Arquid clicks her tongue disappointedly. Seal Senpai rushes towards me, ignoring Arquid, who just stands there. Tell me. Tonokun, you can see lines on Arquid? I nod to Seal's frantic question. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. Then you can be helped, Tonokun. I gave up hope, but with this, we really can separate Roa from you. The hostility I sense from Senpai disappears. Oh, thank God. I don't know why, but it seems CL stopped fighting Arquid. I see. Senpai, you found a way to eliminate Roa from inside me at the church. Uh, her enthusiastic voice cuts off. CL looks down, then raises her head. No. There was no way to help you at the church. I came back this early because it was a dead end. I gasp automatically. <gasps> because that means the only thing left for me to do is to be consumed by Roa. But Tonokun, if you can see that which can cause Arkwid's death, then it is a different story. Roa is Arkwid's dead apostle. Even if he is separated right now, his connection to Arkwid as the source of power does not change. So, if you are able to destroy Arkwid, then Roa will have to get weaker. What? I can't quite grasp what she says right away. Arkwid just stands there, listening to the conversation between Ciel and me. By myself, no. Even with a treasure of the church, I cannot destroy Arkwid, a true ancestor. The best I can do is seal her away. But if you can see those causes of death on her, then it is a different story. Tonokun, lend me your power. If you can help me, even I can kill Arkwid. My breath stops in my throat. Me? Uh, help kill Arkwid? Me. She's saying I have to k help kill Arkwid so I can save myself from Roa? No. I can't do that. Eh? The voices overlap once more. What, what are you saying, Tonokun? If you don't do that, Roa will take over. And... Weren't you looking for her lines to kill her? No, no, you got it wrong, Senpai. CL, I don't want to kill Arkwit at all. I just wanted you two to stop fighting, and this was the only way I could think I could... I thought I could stop it. That... That may be true, but... 
If you do not kill Arkuin, you will disappear, Tonokun. I don't want that. Why? Why? Are you saying Arkuin's life is more important than your own? Senpai's right, but... I don't know, but I can't hurt Arkuid. Sorry for being selfish, CL. I can't hate her. That's why, even to save myself, I can't kill her. Tonokun, you like her? Well, of course not. I love you, CL. That's no lie. There's only one person I hold most dear. CL closes her mouth as she hangs her head. I don't sense any hostility or enmity from her at all. Boy, do the mystic eyes of death, de de death, death perception allow you to, like, freaking sense enmity? Like some type of MMORPG that you can play up to level 60 for free with no time limit? Which is a lie. It gave me a damn time limit. Now I'm paying for it. Ugh. Now, if I can get the person over there staring at me with a sour expression to go away, everything will be just fine. Arquid, please, can you give up? I will definitely take Roa. I don't know how long I'll remain, but at the very end I'll... Pierce your point of death and kill Roa? Arquid reads my mind. I refuse. The very end means Roa will have almost taken over you completely. Do you think you can kill yourself in that situation, Shiki? Uh, she makes some cutting remarks. Then, what are you, what are you saying I do? Go tell you once Roa starts to consume me? No, you don't have to go through all that trouble. It'll be fine if you just kill yourself right here. Easily with her usual expression, Arquid speaks cruelly, and the happy music starts playing again. What a time for to drop that. Uh, wh what are you saying? But such a thing I would not even allow if Tonokun accepted it. Hey, CL. I hold back Senpai who tries to attack Arquid. Arquid, maybe that is the best thing for you, but can you just let it go? No, nope. you understand that's the best way too, right, Shiki? So I, I c won't wait. If you don't kill Roa right now, things will get difficult later on. I desperately hold on to Seal, who goes wild in my arms. Well, I wanted Shiki to drink more of my blood, but with Seal here, it's a little difficult. So I'll compromise. Didn't I say so earlier, Shiki? That if you become mine, you could get rid of Roa yourself right away. It's already more than half done anyway. What? Tonokun, you drink some of Arquid's blood? Breaking free, Seal Senpai glares at me. Uh, well, when Arkuda was pinning me down earlier, of her own accord, she forced me to, uh, to do that. Is, is there a problem with that, Senpai? Yes, it's a huge problem. With that, you're pretty much under her influence. If you have her blood inside you, you'll just be like an extension of her, like an arm or leg. Or pseudo-phallus. Uh, 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 you mean... Yeah, no different from a dead apostle who got his blood sucked. I look over to Arquid. Hee <laughs> hee. Why that little smile like that? No one. Arquid! Is that what you mean by using force? What part of this is not doing something I won't like? You sucked my blood, you big liar. Uh, no, no, you got, I, you got it all wrong. I didn't suck your blood. I just gave you some of my blood, so that's why you didn't turn into a dead apostle. It's the same thing. To have your blood inside someone means they can't disobey you. And if you go too far, your genetic information as a true ancestor will invade and destroy his human genetic information. Wait, what? Holy crap, that's a that's a drop. If it's your blood, only a little would destroy a human body, right? How rude, I won't make such sloppy mistakes. In the first place, Shiki's body is already invaded by Roa and is almost a vampire's body anyway. In this case, I think my blood helps. Besides, Shiki won't listen to what I say. With only one drop of my blood, it'll only take some of his willpower to refuse my orders. Besides, I didn't suck Shiki's blood, so his body is his own. You know already, right? A vampire makes a target of their own by sucking their blood and mixing it with their blood. But still, you forced Tonokun to drink your blood. What in the world were you thinking? It's obvious, right? I made it so Shiki can beat Roa, even if Shiki and Roa die at the same time. 
Now Shiki's under my influence, you know. Even if Ro and Shiki are e equal, if I give Shiki backup, it's only natural Shiki will survive. Uh, Seal Senpai's mouth o opens in shock. Do you understand? You said you'll help Shiki, but my method is much better than yours. Come on, if you understand, then hurry up and get away from Shiki. <laughs> um, Seal Senpai's mouth opens and closes. It seems things have taken a sudden twist. Well, to be honest, I was thinking about not telling you about it, but I think it might be alright. Earlier, Shiki said he liked me. Let's see, if Shiki says he likes me more than CL, I'll help out this time. Arkwood smiles, not at me, but at CL Senpai. <laughs> CL Senpai's shoulders start quivering furiously. And hold on a second. N not a chance. Even with your help, I'll somehow save Tonokun. I'll let you go for tonight, so just go back. Huh. I suppose I can go back, but then Shiki will disappear. So you're saying it's okay if Roa takes over Shiki as long as Shiki's body remains? My body is... Don't be stupid. I want Roa to be destroyed more than you do. I can't bear Roa taking away the person I hold the most dear. And it's simple. Shiki just has to promise he likes me more and Roa will be destroyed completely. I think that's fulfilling both our goals. My... Body's feelings are starting to fade away. I'm literally dying over here, and they're too busy being being women. Those are two completely different matters. In the first place, there's no reason for us to trust you. I won't let Tonokun walk such a tightrope like killing himself. Then. You look like you'd rather kill me. Anyway, with Shiki the way he is now, you can't. Ro has invaded his mind enough already, so it's easy to see that if you stress him any further, his mind would collapse. Oh, here I am. Just, my mind's collapsing over here. Broke.exe That's... If Shiki didn't strain himself to stop us, he might have lasted a few more days, but the way he is now, he can't resist Roa for long. Take a look, he's desperately resisting a headache right now. Like that, tonight would be... Uh huh? Hey, hey Shiki? Don't tell me you're already at your limit! Tonokun? Awareness. I still have my awareness, my body. My body can still move. So why don't I feel like I'm alive? I'm losing my grip on reality. Tonoshiki is fading away. Tonokun, hang in there, Tonokun! Ciel's voice, even though she's holding me, I can't feel her at all. Shiki, if you can hear me, hurry. There's no time to hesitate or think things over. Arkwood's voice. Her hand grabs my palm. What's there is my knife. You said it before, that at the very end you'll kill Roa with your own hands. If you're ready, you have to kill him now. You're the only one who can kill him, so it's meaningless unless you kill yourself while you're still there. You can't, Tonokun. If you do that, you'll just die. If you just focus, if you can resist that headache, you can come back, Tonokun. That's right. I was already prepared. Roa's mouth is already right there. Before that, I stare at my body. That point exists right on my scar. Come to think of it, Shiki said something like that. What kills a will is another will. Stop, please stop. You can't be sure what Arkwood is saying is true, so why? Yeah, I understand why Seal's worried. But what Arkwood says is the truth. Because she never lied to me once. I placed a knife on my chest. There are two wills in one life, then with one death, with a simple calculation, only one will die. Now, I'm not the best at math. I'm not the best at math. But I don't think that's how it works. I don't think it's simple subtraction. I think you're forgetting some stuff, my dude. Just a few things, my dude. Well, I think that's too simple, but I'll believe it. That's, that's bullshit, but I believe it. Even if it doesn't turn out like Arkwood says, no matter what, Roa will consume me eventually. Then, I'll kill you right here. Your reincarnation is at an end. What I see is my death and the death of Roa's soul. After I send someone gasping, I squeeze. Someone grips my hand hard. I can hear someone speaking softly. Hot blood courses through my body and I feel someone embracing my back. I see. This is nothing. I'll probably, definitely survive no matter what happens. I believe firmly and I strengthen my grip around my knife.
Roa, if what kills a will is a will, then you are alone, and there are three of us. Oh, that line's kind of Kino. There's no way we can lose. Where are we? Yeah, what, what, where is this place? We've seen it before, but like, what? Walking down the usual road and entering the usual alley, I come out to a strange place. I never knew this place was on the way back from school to the mansion. A clearing. There's no walls around, but I don't feel like anyone else around here. It's so quiet that it feels like I'm the, this is the only place in the world, and in it, someone sits on a bench reading a book. A man with long golden hair and small round glasses. With deep chiseled features and golden hair, there's no doubt he's a foreigner. Despite his very set features, there's an atmosphere of softness to him. Even though he looks cold-hearted, his eyes seem gentle. It's probably because of that. So I talk to this strange person. After looking up, he asks me what I want. I inquire what he's doing. With a smile, he says that, just like it appears, he is reading a book and then ask what is, if it is interesting. With a terribly kind smile, he declares it is nothing interesting at all. He stands up. He leaves the old book that he was reading on the bench. I call out to him. I tell him he forgot his book. Over his shoulder, he says he's done reading it. The pages of the book are flipping, even though there is no wind. The pages unbind, and page by page, they fly away as if they were disappearing into nothingness. As if hiding in the paper storm, the man's figure starts to fade away. All right, a couple things. One, that is obviously Roa, which makes sense. Michael Roa Valdemyong. That's Thorin, right? Absolutely. The thing that I've thought about a couple times, but again, haven't brought up because I haven't confirmed it yet. I find the use of the book for what I assume to be memories is very interesting when you remember that for servants... Uh, they can look back on their previous information, like reading a book in a library. That's the um, that's the metaphor that Archer uses there. I find that very interesting. That that seemingly started here. The idea of having like books inside you that you have to seek out and read. I think that's really interesting. That that comes back in that way. I like it. I like it. That might be me stretching. That might be a stretch. But I feel like that's the case. So we'll see. I ask where he's going, but he just responds that he was never anywhere to begin with. There is only an observer which reads the book. If the book ceases to exist, the observer also ceases to exist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, what? If the book ceases to exist, then the observer also ceases to exist. I mean, I guess. Sure. At la No, you know what? That's true. Because if I'm observing something and that thing disappears, then me, who is previously the observer of the thing, I'm no longer the observer of the thing. So you can say that the observer of the thing disappeared. Okay, yeah, fair enough. At last, all the pages fly away and the book becomes nothing. The man's figure is obviously nowhere to be seen. So that's it's the battle of the heart, huh? If that's the case, it's no surprise the memories which do not belong to me of this place also disappear. The book carrying the memories of long reincarnation disappears, and the vampire called Roa gracefully dies after 800 years. So am I, am I Gucci? Well, sun. An epilogue. That's the opposite of the moon. Well, what happened from there? A small noise wakes me up. Creak, creak, creak. A sound like a burglar quietly opening a window oh you mean the scariest sound from the sims after that footsteps come toward me cheeky it's morning get up someone shakes me uh, resisting my headache i slowly open my eyes morning why are you here it's great weather today cheeky arquid you holding my still sleepy head i look at the trespasser in front of me Arquid acts as if it was completely normal for her to be here, and I'm surprised to myself for feeling the same way for a brief moment. Huh? What? You have something to say, you should just say it. You're always looking so troubled recently. Hey, whose fault do you think that is? It's because you do things that make my head hurts. 
start your head make my head hurt starting early in the morning and cause me to have stress when I shouldn't have any. Making me making me feel so crazy. In the first place, if Senpai finds out she kill me before she kills you. Really. Or to say if a, if Hisui came in right now, Kiha would kill me before Senpai would. <laughs> in that case, you'd finally be breaking up with CL, right? But that's okay. I'll take responsibility and take you with me. She laughs like it's funny. Of course, I'm not laughing at all. You, you're actually serious. Of course. I don't joke that often. Well, that's true. Your existence itself is like a joke. Hey, that's being discriminatory. You're so nice to everyone else, so why do you only say such things to me? She looks me right in the eye. <sighs> I'm a bit troubled. As usual, Arkwit is without hesitation and doesn't take a man's heart into consideration. Of course... You can't be kind to someone who sneaks in no matter how many times you tell them not to. Come on, get out. I'm going to change. Looking away from Arkwit, who's directly in front of me, I stand up uh, on the other side of the bed as if running away from her. And then, knock knock. Oh no. The sound echoes through the room. Shikisama, have you wakened? Awakened, rather? Hisui's voice. The clock says it's ten minutes before seven. Crap. Arkwit, hurry, get out the window. I hurry to the window and motion to her to come to the window, but Arkwit just looks at me like she wants to say something and stays in the center of my room. Arkwit, please, just get out! She's not listening. Shikisama, you are awake, are you not? Wah, wait! I am changing, so just wait! Changing? I have your school uniform here, however. Uh... Uh, no, that's not any- anyway, just wait. I'll be done soon, so wait. Uh, I guess she didn't like me saying it'll be done soon as Arkwin starts to look angry. You- What are you dissatisfied about, Arkwin? I can't do anything if you just selfishly come here and get angry. If you have something to say, just say it. I yell at her, but quietly. And then? Because you don't play with me recently. So I thought I should trouble you a bit. Arkwin says quietly. Hey, hey now, I told you, students have these things called exams and are busy until they are over. Once I'm done, I'll spend a whole day with you, so you can, can you leave for now? Really? You'll do that before CL? Uh, I'll try. Yay, it's a promise, okay? Then I'll be waiting outside. With a light hop, Arkwood jumps out the window. Please excuse me. His sweet enters as if she was merely trading places. Shikisama? I... Heard some voices speaking. Did anything happen? Uh, no, I was just... musing. Sorry if it was confusing. Poem yet to be titled. That wasn't very amusing. <laughs> what? <laughs> she stares at me wordlessly. Arkwit is coming here practically every day, so history might be catching on. My, look at the time. I'll hurry and change to go to the city room, so please go ahead and be history. I understand. Then, please excuse me, Shikisama. With a succinct bow, she exits the room. <sighs> I guess it's only a matter of time before she finds out. I have to somehow tell Arkwood not to come to my room, at least in the morning. Good morning, Nissan. As soon as I enter the sitting room, Akia greets me with a bit of an edge to her voice. Sounds like she wants to kill Chaos or something. Morning, Akia. You're really taking your time this morning. I thought you needed to leave soon in order to be on time. Akiha's ladies boarding school is in the next prefecture. I didn't realize it until recently, but Akiha won't make it to school on time unless she leaves 30 minutes before me by car. Nissan, did you forget what I told you last night? Winter break started yesterday for me. Since I go to a private school, it is on a different schedule than yours. Oh, now that she mentions it, she's in her normal clothes. Meaning, I'm the only one who's busy. If you understand, then please go to the dining room. Your breakfast should be prepared already. Okay, then I'll go right away. I leave behind Akia, who's already on break from school, and walk into the dining room. After breakfast, I return to the sitting room. Akia stares at me coldly as if she's in a terrible mood. Akia? Did something happen? No, not really. Just while you were eating, a guest came for you, Nissan. A guest? This early? Yes. It seems she came to pick you up. 
an upperclassman from your school. I have her waiting at the entrance, so you should probably hurry. She glares at me. It seems like it was in my imagination that Akia's in a sour mood. No more than that, it has to be Senpai who came here. I wonder what happened. For Seal Senpai to suddenly come pick me up today. I'm sure I'll find out when I see her. Well, I'm off. I have a test today, so I'll be back past noon. I'll look forward to it. When you come back, I want to hear your story about this, CL Senpai. Giving an empty, scary smile, Akiha watches me leave. Does she know her? Oh, good, good morning, Tonokun. Just like I thought, the one waiting for me is CL Senpai. Yeah, morning. Wait, Senpai, why didn't you come to pick me up today? I ask her in a perfectly natural question. Well, it's also an excuse for Hisui's watching things from behind. No, I don't have much of a reason. If I had to say, I just had a bad feeling. I see. Well, I'm happy you worry about me, but is it is a little troubling. Well, I think uh, about how I should introduce her to Akiha. I'm not sure why, but I have this premonition that Akiha and Seal Senpai won't get along at all. Oh, I'm pretty sure of it. Well, shall we go? We don't have that much time. Nodding yes, Seal Senpai and I start to walk. We await your return, Shikisama. Hisui sees me off past the gate. I'm surprised. Tonokun, you have such a cute maid. You see you off every morning. Yeah, but it, it really doesn't mean anything. I tell her not to, but Hisui is very conscientious about seeing me off. That's all. Huh. Hisui's son really is dedicated. But your family must be really rich to have maids. Seal is awfully nosy. Was she talking to Hisui while I was eating breakfast? Senpai? I'll ask, but uh... Did, did you talk about something with Hisui? Yes, I heard a lot of things about you from Hisui-san. About how you indulge your sister, about how cute and spaced out you are in the morning, this and that. What do you mean? I don't really indulge a key, huh? Oh, just like Hisui-san said. She said you would definitely say that in response and you don't indulge your sister. Uh, not just Kohaku-san, but even Hisui thinks that way? Sheesh! <laughs> just Shiki's just like Shiki's just like Sheesh Okay I'm sorry Had to get that out there Um They both seem to think so huh Well Whatever I guess this is like I guess this is some sort of fate ah, There it is We did it gamers It's some sort of fate Uh So Do you want to come by my house after school My sister's on break So I can introduce you Yes I would also like to meet your sister, Tonokun. She smiles softly, but that smile quickly fills with hostility. Seal Senpai? Still keeping her sharp glance, Seal is looking around us. There. I was waiting, Cheeky! Arkwood tackles me from behind. A glomp. Oh, you fell down. How shameful. If you leave yourself open, so open because it's in the morning, this is what happens. That's mistaken. That's terribly mistaken. Even if you're ready for it or keeping an eye out for it, nobody can survive being hit full force from behind by a speeding motorcycle. I stand up and dust myself off. And now? What are you do- What are you doing? At the same time, CL Senpai screams loudly right beside me. Oh, you're here too, CL? Of course. Don't pretend like you didn't notice. You were sneaking behind us for a while, so there's no way you didn't notice me. And that's rude. I really didn't notice. Because it doesn't really matter to me and Shiki if you're here or not, right? In other words, she was just ignoring CL Senpai completely. You really don't learn a thing, do you? Tonokun is going to school, so please don't bother us. In the first place, there's no reason for you to stay in this country, right? Roa is gone, and there's no more dead apostles here. There's over ten dead apostles running around on the loose, so you should go after them. Yes, I plan on doing that without you telling me. But I have to take Shiki with me, so I have to reel him in first. Re reel him in? Tonokun won't do any more dangerous things. Please stop involving Tonokun in your selfish circumstances. I thought that said let's-a go for a second. I legitimately had to stop and read that again to make sure she wasn't just intimidating Charles Martinet for a second. Just let's-a go. Let's go, Tonokun. You'll turn weird like her if you hang around this vampire too long. Grabbing my hand, she starts to walk down the hill. Oh? I don't care what you say about me, but Shiki's problem isn't anything you can decide. 
It doesn't matter what you think, but he doesn't hate me. If he says he'll help me, then you'll be the one getting in the way. Seal freezes in her tracks. Tonokun, don't tell me you plan on helping her. Ruh -ruh. Being stared at by these emotional eyes is troubling. No, I never made that promise. Then please refuse her. Actually, you should tell her not to associate with you anymore. Uh, senpai, do you really think I should do that? I whisper in Seal's ear. Of course you should. If you tell her directly, even she would. Do you think she'd go back? You may have forgotten, but I was saved because of Arquid. So, I don't know how to say it, but I... I can't really be hard on Arquid. That... That may be true, but... Sia looks away disappointed. But... But I still don't want that. Tono, could we... We're... We're lovers. So please don't let other women seduce you. Turning red to the tips of her ears, CL states it directly. Since she is so direct, I'm embarrassed but happy and turn red as well. Despite that... Oh, you're pretty controlling, CL. There's still one that's open. Can't I? It's not like there's a rule against me chaining down Tonokun with my feelings. Is that so? I don't really care if Shiki likes someone else. If Shiki likes me, then the rest is my problem. I don't mind if he likes someone else, too. What? She shakes her head in response to Arkwood's words. Well, I won't speak for you. To say that I don't mind him just liking me comes with a condition he'll be mine in the end. In that regard, Shiki likes me, so maybe I'm the same as you, CL. <laughs> I guess just loving him won't be enough soon. Yeah. I cough out loudly hearing that. Arkwood's saying that with a smile. We can't do that in the first place. Tonokun and I, we, um, we... We made love already, so there's no room for you. Made love? You mean connection between your bodies? Oh, I see. She likes those kind of things? With a smile full of meaning, Arkwood looks over at me. I feel a chill run through me. The instant I have a bad feeling about this, Arkwood grabs my arm and... Without saying anything further, presses her lips to mine. This is stupid harem shenanigans. Which, okay, I... I I can appreciate stupid harem shenanigans. That's my favorite genre of, like, rom-com anime. However, yeah. After what I thought was a really, really good true ending, this just feels... flaccid. Without saying anything, she presses her lips to mine. I try and resist. CL watches it all in shock. Thumb. My pulse. This is completely different from that time when she tried to get me to drink her blood. This really is a kiss to express love. Before I realize it, I answer her insisting tongue with my own. Jeez. Our magic breathing impulses make me not care about anything. This is the worst. I can't believe it. Seal's in front of me. What, what am I doing? This is this is the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. I hate this. Arkwood steps back. I suck in my stop breath that I was excited by such an awful thing. See, it's easy. Seal, you're pretty stupid to feel like you're insured by doing something anyone can do. What are you thinking? Trying to go against me with just one act of love? With a big grin, Arkwood laughs as Seal Senpai starts to shake. Even I can understand. Seal Senpai's about to explode, no matter who's nearby. Hey, Shiki. Standing there's a little dangerous. Arkwood grabs my arm. Like that, she dashes down the hill, pulling me with her. What? <sighs> Wait, you airheaded vampire with a frightening sound that makes me scared to turn back. Seal Senpai runs after us. <laughs> Seal's seriously angry, Shiki. Still holding my arm, Arkwood runs cheerfully. Well, I don't know what'll happen if Seal catches up to me right now, so I should probably just keep running until she calms down. <sighs> with Arkwood grabbing my arm and having Seal Senpai chasing us furiously, I can't help but let out a sigh. Probably, my life from now on would be like this forever. But, well... I guess I was prepared for this. Ever since CL Senpai became precious to me, I was still attracted to Arquid, and I think I vaguely knew things might end up this way. T Tono Kun, why are you running away with Arquid? Circling her arms furiously, she chases after us. It's only a matter of time before she catches up. Well then, before that, I have to find a versatile and effective way to calm CL down. Because from now on, I'll be in this situation over and over and over. Well, yeah, whew, that was, uh...
wasn't the best. Definitely. Um, there, there, there was a lot of, like, the one thing I'll say about the ending, and I, and I stand, and, and, and you know, like, I'm, I'm thinking about this. This is a great ending for them to then go and make, you know, the fan disc, Melty Blood. Like, this, this feels like the ending where everyone survives, we're all happy, and we don't have to, you know, hollow ataraxia it to get everyone back. This feels like, okay, this is the ending where most of the events of the game happen. And we can now move on, you know, with with all the characters alive. You know, minus a couple who are, like, dead dead, of course. Um, but now we can move on and, you know, this is where we can get the fan disc and uh, Kigetsu Toya and Melty Blood. So I, I appreciate this being an ending for those who want, you know, who want that, you know, everyone survives ending. Because those are good. Those are important for, you know, if you're going to be doing stuff. However, boy, is it so much worse. So, so much worse than the, the true ending. Oh my god, the true ending is really, really good. It's happy, but there's still consequences where this is just nothing right it's just yeah not a big fan so of course what we're gonna do now is uh we're gonna we're, we're gonna be popping over to melty blood because i do want to sort of uh check out uh you know some of cl's mechanics there in full um and then then we actually are gonna take a little bit of a break before we move on to the next thread it's not gonna be immediate it's gonna be a little bit of a break um You'll see why in the future. You will. Don't worry. It won't be very long. It's going to be about as long as my um, break between, like, you know, Fate and then Unlimited Blade Works and Unlimited Blade Works to Heaven Seal. It's not going to be a long time. Don't worry about that. It's just, it just, there, there is, there is some, some things in the works, let's say. So, that's going to be kind of the plan here before we move on to the, uh, the far side routes, which are, as people say, very different. So, because they are going to be, um... You know, such a, a marked shift. We're gonna we 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 have some I have some stuff planned. So hopefully that. Ho I don't want I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. But uh, there might even be some stuff for you guys to consider as well. So uh, we will see about that. We will see. We will see. I'm rubbing my hands together. So uh, can I just skip this? Can I skip? There we go. Perfect. I've seen those credits just just right before. Thank you so much for playing my game. Will you? T oh right, is this just gonna be the same lesson of Messi? Congratulations! It's CL Sans good ending. It, huh? Uh huh? Huh? Wait, just a minute. What is this? What is this ending? Sneak, sneak. Hey you! Stop you thief cat! Oh, they're extending it into here. No we Don't be so violent. CL Sensei, you shouldn't resort to corporal punishment. Dismissed. Oh, geez, okay. Each heroine has two different kinds of endings. This is CL Sensei's good end. Please return to the previous choice and choose a different story. That will be the true end. Oh, and one more thing. CL Sensei's and Arkwid's roots are the near side of the moon roots. But there is a completely different story. The far side of the moon root. It is the Tono family root, associating more with people like Akiha-san. It seems difficult to know what the requirement is to be able to choose that route, so I'll give you a little hint. On the first day, you should not meet CL-san. It might be better to stay in your classroom during lunch. And most importantly, I think if you don't meet the vampire called Nero, this current storyline will never happen. So, first how to cause a new storyline. During that specific time, if you do not try to perform that one action, a completely different event should be waiting for you. Well then, let's meet again in the main story! I already know what that is, because people told me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so yeah, ending list. Sun, seal, good ending. Oh, look at that, how beautiful. Well, all right, all right. Uh, let's go switch on over to Melty Blood, and let's get a deep dive on CL checked out. Okay, well, time to play some Melty Blood. Very excited. I do enjoy checking out this game. We're going to head into training. Um, we're going to be CL, and I think we've used her third costume. Let's pop over to her fourth one. We haven't seen that one there. And, of course, who else are we going to fight but Ark herself? 
and we'll put her in her second costume there. Uh, and let's fight uh, as they will now in the Tono Mansion lobby for, for days to come for the rest of time. Uh, I do have her move list up, so we're going to check out some of these moves here. Ooh, ooh. Hey, she actually has her black hair. So we got A, B. We have C close. There's also C far. There's so, so there, so it. Oh, I was wondering how you get that versus the other one there. So the, so this, so there are proximity attacks. So this is the far one. And then you also have the close one. Interesting. Okay. We also have 2A. 2A. Oh, that's down. 2. 2A. 2B. Is that a launcher? Nope. 2C. And then A in the air. Just a little elbow there. B in the air. It's a kick. And C in the air, which is the kick there. Those are the normals for now. Okay. Throws. Um, we got the... See there. I wish I knew what her launcher was so that we could launch and try an air throw there. Let's try. Nope. Nope, that's not a launcher. Okay, so command hits. So A, A, A. Wait, A, A, A. What is this? A 1 2 combination that knocks the enemy away. Has chipping effect. Oh! Oh! She, she, she has like a command combo. Interesting. She goes, she, she boxes. That's cool. Okay. Interesting. We also have BB. Second is not an overhead, which even though it looks like it, that is the most overhead looking attack I've ever seen. So we got C, so we got C, C, C. So, um... So we got far C and then hold C. Let's just try. Oh, that's how you do it. Wow. Okay. That has like a timing to it. You can't do it too. F Can you do it faster? That has an interesting timing. Okay. We also have um, 2B, 2B. I did that there. That's that kick there, which I love, which can be cancelled into any aerial. So we could go like... Oh! Oh, that's her launcher! That's her launcher, okay. Yeah, that's 2C, 2C. Um, Seal's air combos are not very damaging. Um, okay. Yeah, she's not an aerial character. But at least, at least we found her launcher there. Yeah, she's not great in the air, I'm noticing. Does she even have an air dash? She does. Oh, that's, that's tough. We also have, um, 2C into D. Wait, what? Into D? We never use D stuff. Has a chipping effect. Oh. Oh, no, wait. Hmm. How do you do that? Is it just saying that you can cancel it? Cancel it into shield? I don't get that one. Okay. It says it has a chipping effect. It says it's one hit. Okay, blowback edge is um, B, B plus 2, then 4 plus B. Second is the blowback. Okay, so then B, B... B, B, B. Is that it? Okay, so B, B, B. I think that's it there. Um, or B, B, B. Oh, that's it. Wait, no, that, that's her special. So B, B, B. Because four would be... Because it's, it's... So then one, two, three, four is back there. So yeah, I guess that's it. So then... B, B, B. I guess that is it there. Uh, the second is a blowback edge, because unless unless it's just me doing the back there, that's a mistake. I think that's just me doing the special. Okay. Special moves. The black keys. 2, 1, 4, 
A and B. Oops, two, two, one, four. Am I, am I doing that wrong? Oh, no, it's backwards. Yeah, that is, that is it there. So, 2, 1, 4, A. So, A, B. Um, oh, I can, I can do more. So, she goes 0, 2, and then 4, which is 0. So, 0, so she goes 0, 3, 4. How do I, okay, let me try that again. Come on. Okay, you can mash it. Okay. Depending on which attack button is held, the third attack will either set the opponent on fire or knock them back. Oh, that's fire. Or... Knock back. Okay, okay. We also have more. We have zero trois set. The third attack trois set can be chained infinitely. So then, so you go quarter circle back, quarter circle back, and then quarter circle forward. Nope. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my god, are you serious? You can just keep doing it? Can be chained in a loop indefinitely? Wow. What? Oh, you can also do it forward there. Oh, do is forward. Oh, that's weird. Oh my god, this is the weirdest. So you go one, so one, two, forward, back, forward. It says indefinitely. Let me see if I can keep doing it. Oh god. Oh, the timing must get harder and harder there. Very interesting. Very difficult. Wow. We also have Nuf, which is nine. Um, so, so backwards, backwards, and then four, two, one. Four, two, one? Four, two, one. Oh, that's weird. Let's try that. So it'd be one, two. It's a backwards shore you can pretty much. No, that was Katsuka. Hmm, I can't get Nuf. Nope. I'm just trying to mash it to be like that. Nope, I can't get that one there. But you can get Nuf by doing a backward shorty, you can. Unless it's forward and I'm doing it wrong. Not set. I this is this game doesn't even have move lists built in, right? No. People had to figure these out. Oh there we go, I got Noof there. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. We also have oh god, there's more. Very hard to connect in an air combo. So, 2147. Oh. Oh, you can do it in the air too, kind of. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Oh, we have an air version as well. Okay. Can you, like, do that and then air dash into another? No, you're, you're helpless after that. The second and third attack do not combo against opponents on the ground. Very hard to connect in an air combo. Okay, let's try here. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, there's no way. That's wild. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, Hero. Hero. Which is... I, okay. So, 236A... CL jumps and rebounds off the side of the screen. You can hold the direction where she falls left and right, or rebound off the other side by tapping air dash. Pushing the attack will make it do a fast dive. 
Yep. Okay. Oh. That was rad. That was sick. I'm very happy I saw that. I was wondering, because I saw her have that in her moveset in uh, Melty Blood type Lumina, and I was like, oh, does she have that in, in this game? Because I've, I've, I've seen it, right? And yeah, she does. She has it there. That's sick. That's very good. I'm very happy I saw that. Oh, wow. That leads to some schmix-ups. I can't believe Black Panther stole the move from CL from Melty Blood. Oh my god, what is this movement you can do? What is this movement? She's like Blanca Ballin! Oh my god, that's hilarious! I love it. Um, we also have Angel Hero, so that is, um, you can do a throw. To throw, press the attack button when she's falling within range, otherwise she'll do a diving attack. So, so if I do it, and if I do it and then get up... Okay, so it is, it, considering it's an air, air throw, I don't think, like, I did it the one time, last time, and that was rad. Okay, so, uh, it is possible to do the regular Kokenage during the first hits, but there's no point in doing so. You can cancel into it. So, 214C. Two, two, so, 214. Oh, I need meter. Let me give myself unlimited meter. Combo gauge max, please. Okay, so, 214C. So I can go like. Let's try her. Okay, yeah. Or during the first few hits, rather. Oh yeah, you can cancel it early. That's weird. Um, now we got two one four C, which is an air combo version. Yeah. All right. Easier to connect in the air than a normal Kuchu Koken Nage. Okay, so then we got like... Yep, okay, okay, okay. Seventh Heaven. Two... Okay, so 236C. Though fast, does not get invincibility. That's that there. Uh, does not get invincibility during startup. You can get hit out of this move. So I want to see if I can like cancel out of it. Seems like it. I didn't mean to do that again, but it's rad. So that's called the seven scriptures. Seal has super armor during this whole attack, up to the point where she puts the robe back on. Sick, sick. Seal has a very low ground dash that can go under projectiles. I love it. That's rad. Just being able to go under projectiles there, that's good. Okay, so I understand her. Let's do a versus mode versus the computer. We're going to be CL, and uh, we were in fourth before. Let's go to, I don't think we tried the third, and we'll battle Arquid in her, I don't think we've seen her forward, third either. So we'll go third and third. Let's do this. Let's actually play. Play the game. Ah, purple's fine. That color looks familiar for sure, and I can't tell what it is. Okay, you're throwing me. Rad. Stop with the throws! I wanted that to hit OTG. Smart lady. Going under there. Nice! Oh, you got to see that beautiful animation. Alright. Okay, alright. Oh, I love how that hits OTG there. Oh, that's that's good. Oh, 
Ooh. Hitting me with those schmixes there. Get out of here. Okay. I understand CL's gameplay now. I understand what her whole thing is. Let's do it one more time. Because that's fun. That's fun. I get her I get her shtick more. Being able to know that she can because I was like, it feels like she's not throwing swords enough. And then I learned, oh, it's because they're all Rekka style. Still don't know what that is. Still don't know what that is there. Very excited to learn. That's what we like to see. I still want to try and get off like that infinite combo or whatever. I love that punch there. Freaking, this game is fun. This game is fun. Like it's 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 kind of jank, but regardless, it's fun. Yeah, that was on me. Oh, that was new. I still don't get what Dizzy does, because she's still clearly moving during it. Is Dizzy just broken in this game? I love video games. I love video games so much. I love video games so much. Alright, everyone. Well, with that said, thank you all for watching uh, Let's Play Tsukihime. With a little bit of melty blood, of course. Um, and, and don't worry, when when we finish up, like, Tsukihime and Kigetsu Toya and all that, we will be doing the actual story mode of um, Melty Blood here. And I'll actually be installing the uh, the patch to get more characters and stuff, too. So we will be checking that out at a later date. Uh, but for now, like I said, we're going to be taking a brief break from Tsukihime um, while things kind of work themselves out. Um, but otherwise, yeah, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more. Ciao.